Hey, this is Benjamin. Uh, I'm at EclipseCon on Logical's booth, and I'm here with Volkan for a demo of what you guys do. So, what do you guys do? Uh, yes, my name is Wolfgang. Um, I'm working for a small Austrian company named Logic House and uh, we are in the automation business since uh, 25 years or more and last year we decided to build a new generation of our tool Logic Hat uh, based on Eclipse. Uh, well, Logic Hat 3, this is the third generation of Logic Hat, is um, an uh, Eclipse RCP application and it runs in hybrid E3, E4 mode. Um, well, I will show you. Uh, start the, the program. That's nothing new. It's like in Eclipse. Uh, you have to choose a workspace. We prepared a small sample where we uh, program uh, a Raspberry Pi, which you see here. Uh, on the Raspberry Pi there is a Pi face uh, to demonstrate uh, setting output values uh, which are signed here by the, by the LEDs and you have here in the Pi face the, the buttons for the inputs, digital inputs. Okay, um, well this is the graphical user interface of our logic hut. You see here uh, like Something similar like in, in Eclipse, uh, the Pro Package Explorer, but, uh, in this case it's the Project Explorer, uh, where you can see uh, some libraries which contains uh, functions, function blocks, like it is defined in the IEC. Uh, yeah, you can pro... So by yeah. IEC, just to be clear for newcomers and beginners like me, so you guys are based on a standard for... Yes. For, for uh, your program using IEC? IEC 61131. Okay. This is the programming standard where you have different types of languages, textual languages and graphical languages. So we're looking at what, a next text based uh, yes. textual editor, right? Yes. Uh, this is X text based. We uh, implemented the, the grammar for the so called structured text language, which you see here. It's a uh, 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 language similar to Pascal. Uh, you see here uh, declared variables which you can use in the code uh, and yeah, I dig uh, directly into this program. Um, this section here is for initializing the Raspberry Pi. Here you see for example a function which initializes the Pi phase uh, and the inputs and outputs. And uh, here you see a function which reads the the digital inputs of the Raspberry Pi. And what comes next is the logic. Here is some programming logic. It's a very simple program uh, which uh, counts up a counter variable, as you see here, by one or counts down by one, depending on a variable count up. Yeah? And what it, it does next is uh, it evaluates the counter value and uh, extracts the bits from the counter value and writes it to the, to the digital outputs, uh, which you see here on the Raspberry. You see the running program. As you can see, the counter value uh, is shown here, the bit values. Um, this, is, uh, this is structured text, and uh, what you can uh, use in Logic Hut 3 2 is uh, the so-called function block diagram, which is a, a graphical programming language. And this is, uh, these are functions which uh, test the, the bit values of this uh, counter value. Uh, it gets the, for example here, it gets the, the, the input value of this function block, tr uh, transforms it to a byte value and extracts the, the, the first bit, here the second bit, this, the third bit, and writes it to output values. And here, this, there is the call of this graphical uh, function block. And so once I have all those, those models, basically, I generate what C code? Yes, uh, you can see it here. No normally, the, the C code is hidden from the, from the user. Um, but you can uh, display it. 
Yeah, here we have, like in, in Java and Eclipse, uh, the source scan folder. And uh, yeah, here we have the C code from this graphical uh, block. You see here, that's the generated C code. And uh, next we go to the uh, so-called application testing perspective. What you see here is uh, the representation of this Raspberry Pi. Uh, you see here an identification of, a, of the code image. And here the state of the Raspberry Pi. You see it is online. This is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. And here you can watch the, the variables. Here you see the counter value. Um, now it is counting up. And as you can see here, if, if, we, if we press the first uh, switch, it should count down. Yes, it, now it's counting down. Here you see the counter value, it counts down. It's all, all this is uh, done in the, in the logic. And what we've done too in this sample is if you press the second button, uh, you have to see here on this notebook that in a trace file on the Raspberry, uh, we put the, the, the current counter value every time I press the second button. We have done this. We have done this using another feature of Logica 3, uh, where you can, here, you see here, uh, if the button 2 uh, is pressed, we call a function called trace value. Here you see it is only a, an interface where there's an input variable, the counter value. And what's behind this, here you see, is an external C function which you can uh, implement directly here in Logic Hut. Um, see it here. This is the generated C function. And what we are doing here is simply uh, open a file slash temp slash values uh, txt and uh, we trace out the, the counter value. Great. So where should people go if they want to learn more? You have a, a free um, version that people can download? Yes, um, I will show it to you. We are using here the built-in web browser of Eclipse. Logicals.com This is our homepage. And here you can learn every, everything about our company, about Logical 3, about our other services and products. Uh, here you find our community where you find lots of information about programming Raspberry and other platforms. And uh, here in the download section, you find Logica 3. Here you can download the latest version, which is released about every two or three weeks uh, of Logica 3 Compact, which is free for download and free for use. Great. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.